think this one, I think you, you need to uh, uh, expound upon. I mean, I have my own feelings on it, but I want you to dig into it. Who determines who's a man? You know, you always hear individuals talk about, well, if you do this, this makes you not a man. So who really determines that? Does, does that lay with someone on the outside or does that actually lay with the person that, you know, is walking in those shoes? Well, you know, I don't think no man can determine who's a man but the man himself. Right. You know, if you're a man of principles, if you're a man of character, if you're a man of, of morality, then that's going to show in your character, in your characteristics. You know, uh, my answer once said, you know, if somebody show you who they are, believe them. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a man staying at your mom's house. You know what I'm saying? Right. At 30 years old, you can't be a man not handling your own responsibilities, you know, not taking care of you know, your basic needs, especially if you have kids and so on and so forth. That ain't what a man to do. A man handles responsibilities. A man makes sure that whatever he got to do, he go out there and put food on the table. You know, a man makes sure that he disciplines, you know, those around him that need to be disciplined as children to the point where they get the message and they grow from the mistakes that they made and then he take them to the next level and he encourage them to be successful and encourage them to be better than what he was. That's what a man would do. But, you know, I mean, you know, a man is not somebody who go and just, you know, have sex and have babies with a bunch of women and just leave, leave the women to fend for themselves. You know what I'm saying? If you have a baby, it's your man duty to take care of that baby. You know what I'm saying? You can't just leave no woman out there, you know, with a child and don't try to support that child because you're 50-50, you know, involved in that. You know, she gave 50 cents, you gave 50 cents, so both of y'all have a duty. She have a duty as a mother to nurture the child. You have a duty as a father to support the child. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, those are some of the characteristics of being a man. You know, even in the game, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, uh, certain things that a man ain't gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like a man ain't gonna be out there gossiping and putting the next man business in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Acting like a little girl, you know? A man ain't gonna be out there, you know, trying to plot and steal and rob another person envious of another man because he achieves a certain level of success. You know, this is what suckers do. This is what boys do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like a lot of people say, you know, hey, man, you know, what about this? You know what I'm saying? What about that? But, you know, it ain't about this, it's about that. It's about who you are. You know what I'm saying? And if, you, if you're a soldier going into a building, you're going to be a soldier going out. That's who you are. Right. You know, man, if you're weak, Going into a building, you're gonna be weak coming out. So wherever you go, you take yourself with you. Mm -hmm. you know, there ain't no mystery, you know, uh, uh, conception on being a man. Uh, like I pointed out, and I simply stipulated that you know, there's certain principles that you got to have. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're gonna take care of your family. You're gonna take care of your bills. You know what I mean? You're gonna make sure you support your children. That's what a man gonna do. Now, 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 now. Let me, let me. Uh... I don't like playing devil's advocate, but I think me playing devil's advocate will will, will make you cover these points that much more better. Well, you figure you got advocates out here. Well, you know, all men get into situations, and, and with with them getting into those situations, you get heated. And with getting heated, you may say things that you know someone that's looking on the uh, outside looking in will you know then that. that that, that leads them to be able to judge, well, this person, they said this out of, uh, 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 you know, feeling how they felt about whoever they're going against or having a, a difficulty with. You know, what gives them the right to weigh in and play all so, all so mighty to, you know, say, oh, well, he's a lesser of a man because, you know, he's going through this situation, not being honest with yourself, saying that we all deal with these kind of things. That doesn't count. But, you know, that's what makes you a man, your mistakes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I mean, you're going to make mistakes in life. You, know, you got two ways to learn. You can learn from your mistakes. You can learn from other mistakes. That's why it's good to get with another man that can show you the way because that man been through the way. You know what I'm saying? Block of wood and point the way. But a real man, he going to leave his foot press cutty cut on every span of the ground let him know that he the man went that way. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, if a person has not achieved a certain level of manhood, that don't mean that he ain't a man in progress. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some things we do, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, it might not be as uh, sufficient or you might not be, uh, have the ability of, of the 
next man. So you know what I mean? You, know, you might not perform as well, but you still can be a man at heart. You know what I'm saying? But you know, a lot of things that you learn in life, it shapes you and it builds you. You know, so you got to go through something to become something. You know what I mean? It ain't just that easy. Right. You know, becoming a man. You know what I mean? Even in uh, in African culture, they call it the rites of passage. You know, that you got to go through there. You got to talk to a council of elders. You got to get the wisdom from the older people. You know what I'm saying? Before you can be deemed a man. You know, and that's in some cultures. You know, other cultures. You know, like even in the animal kingdom. You know, once the child grows up, the lion kicks the child out the pride. Yeah, because he said, you know, now you're a man. You got to go fend for yourself. You know, in America, they say when you're 18, you're a man. And at that point, your mother will have to take care of you no more. So there's certain limitations and certain age points where we deem each other to be men. You know, but, you know, you reach 80 years old, still act like a boy. True. You know, some people never learn. But, you know, people who mature in life and go through some things, they eventually become men from their experience. Four, Four seven. seven.